know, it's taking up a challenge. And, uh, challenges in life these days are much different, you know, with the job and family and this kind of stuff. Like the real challenge, just surviving, like we did 5,000 years ago, fighting like warriors just to make it through, just to survive. And if you succeed then, after eight days at the finish line, you see 50 year old men crying like babies just because that's a lifetime experience to succeed in something like this. Yeah, it's my fifth detention, and uh, the yeah, last year was was the most successful one with our uh, win from last year. and. Uh, not just uh, racing, but like the whole atmosphere around. It's it's quite cool and uh, but also tough. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also a bit afraid of it. This is Scott Get the nice ice bath, cold shower, and a uh, bit of food. Always exciting the first day of the Epic. Uh, you've been here before, today a little bit of a different situation. Um, just how are you going to play today? They are your defending champions, Scott Schramm, Nino Schurter. Matthias Stirlman, and there we are, it's a go for the Absolute a bit worried uh, Nino and uh, Matthias is not in yet so for sure something is wrong uh, with the health of, uh, of Matthias. Welcome to the Arabella Wine Estate in Robinson and the Langeberg Municipality ladies and gentlemen. He's uh, going to hospital right now. No. Yeah? Really? Just now. He exploded. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Matthias didn't felt so good already yesterday after the prologue. And uh, now we found actually out that he's uh, seriously sick. He has an infection. When they tested his blood, the, the results were, were quite bad. I knew it had to come to, to a point where we cannot maintain winning, winning, winning. Now we kind of uh, went down hard, but that's a good, good thing too, to start from a low again and, and be excited if we, if we have success again. So we need the young guns to step up. quite well for the circumstances. We finished uh, fifth. I felt my knee a bit today, but I think it will be all right tomorrow. Worcester. 
we were nice in the front, feeling both quite good, I think. And then uh, after 20 kilometers, we got a flat tire and uh, the bunch was still together, so we lost quite a bit of time. That's when Andre told me uh, he had some problems with his knee. I think yeah, it's it's the right decision to uh, with the whole season ahead. We went from bad to worse. Urs crashed 50 k's uh, to go and uh, broke his handlebar. So uh, we switched bikes and uh, I rode it in to the finish. Now we have no more team in the race, just the old dudes. This is the battlefield, huh? That's what the Cape Epic goal is about. You can have a smooth ride or you can really have bad luck like we, we did today. You never know. The untamed, hey, the untamed. If, if everything goes down, you kind of have to show your teeth and uh, fight against it, you know. It is, it is up to the old dudes now.